Former UFC champion, Francis Ngannou, has lost his 15-month-old son Kobe to the cold hands of death. Ngannou confirmed the tragic news in an emotional social media post. Posting on Instagram, Ngannou said, Too soon to leave, but yet he's gone. My little boy, my mate. My partner Kobe was full of life and joy. Now, he's laying without life. I shouted his name over and over, but he's not responding. I was my best self next to him, and now I have no clue of who I am. Life is so unfair to hit us where it hurts the most. How do you deal with such a thing? How can you live with it? Please help me if you have an idea, because I really don't know what to do and how to deal with this. Ngannou's Instagram post came after he had shared a heartbreaking message on X earlier on Monday evening. He had said, What's the purpose of life if what we're fighting tooth and nail to get away from is what finally hit us the hardest? Several fans and fellow fighters were quick to send their well wishes and condolences to the Cameroonian, including Conor McGregor. The Irishman, who has four children, replied to Ngannou's post and said, I am so sorry to hear of your loss, Francis. My prayers are with you and your family at this time. Ngannou's coach, Eric Nixick, added, it's been a heavy few days. Words can't express the pain we all feel for the Nganu family during this time. Please keep Francis and his family in your heart, and may this be a reminder of the fragility of life. Say, I love you, more often. Tomorrow isn't guaranteed. The circumstances surrounding the death of Nganu's son are unknown at this time. Nganu, who grew up in Beatty, Cameroon, where he was raised by a single mother, similarly received huge support from those in his homeland, with the former UFC champion remaining extremely close to his roots. This includes his mother, who regularly appears in his social media posts. Ngano has endured an inspirational journey to the top after he was forced to walk six miles to go to school every day and was digging sand mines when he was just 10 years old. As he got older, he made the journey from Cameroon to the north of the continent, traveling through Nigeria, Niger, and Algeria before reaching Morocco. Nganu eventually settled in Paris, where he met the trainer Fernand Lopez, who would convince him to take up MMA instead of boxing. Reflecting on his fighting journey last year, he said, For me, I just started in MMA for fun. I had time to train, so I thought why not train MMA as well? And then things went very fast, and they start asking did I want to fight? And I said, Yes, let's do it. I didn't realize how fast it was going until the coach said to me, We've got a UFC contract for you. After winning five of his opening six mixed martial arts bouts, Ngano pinned his first UFC contract and quickly set about making an impact in the promotion. Six successive wins where he showcased his punching power earned him a heavyweight title shot against Stipe Miocic, but he suffered a blowout loss in 2018. He rebuilt from the defeat by beating Miocic and Derek Lewis in brutal fashion, with a series of knockout wins. The Predator won three of his next four fights in under a minute, including a victory after just 20 seconds against Jerzenho Rosenstruck in 2020. The 37-year-old took the decision to leave the UFC in 2022 after defending his title against Cyril Gane. His UFC career ended with a record of 17 wins and 3 losses, including 12 knockouts. After quitting the promotion, Nganu signed with the Professional Fighters League PFL, and he has since dipped his toes into the boxing world. Nganu has fought British heavyweight duo Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, suffering a narrow defeat to the Gypsy King before the Cameroonian lost heavily to AJ. In his march bout against Joshua, which reportedly earned Ganu around 15 million pounds, the Cameroonian was knocked out in the second round following a devastating blow as he struggled to back up his previous performance in the ring. Speaking after the defeat, Ngano had said, Sorry guys, I let you all down. Today was a bad day in the office, but tomorrow will be another day. Thank you all for the love. Despite that defeat, Ngano remains a hugely popular and marketable athlete, particularly since his move to the PFL.
Reports claimed a key reason for the Cameroonian originally signing with PFL was to do with endorsements after he previously he hit out at the lack of freedom for fighters within UFC. Taking to X in 2022, he had said, Fighters are ripped off with sponsorship. It's a huge source of revenue for us, but the company keeps exploiting that for their own benefit. I understand that the sport needs to look good with uniforms, but we should at least have a right for a minimum of two approved sponsors for in the octagon. Along with PFL, Nganu is reported to now have deals with Gymshark, FIA, CBD Research Labs, Cryopain Relief, and the fight game. Nganu was scheduled to make his PFL debut against reigning champion Renaf Ferreira this summer, although that is now uncertain following the tragic news. Francis Nganu, born Francis Xavier Nganu on September 5, 1986, is a Cameroonian and French professional mixed martial artist and professional boxer. Nganu was born and raised in the village of Beatty, Cameroon. His upbringing was marked by poverty and limited formal education. At the tender age of 10, he began working in a sand quarry due to financial constraints. Despite facing adversity, Nganu refused to join local gangs and instead channeled his energy into pursuing boxing. His father's reputation as a street fighter motivated him to strive for something positive. At 22, Nganu started training in boxing. By the time he was 26, he met Fernand Lopez in the MMA factory in France, which marked the beginning of his transition to an MMA star. He turned pro in 2013, securing a victory over Rashid Benzina via submission. His record stood at 5-1 when he joined the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC, in 2015. Known for his devastating punching power, Nganu quickly made an impact in the UFC's heavyweight division. He ended seven of his 14 UFC fights by knockout, often within the first round. His destructive abilities earned him the UFC heavyweight championship. However, he eventually departed from the promotion. Nganu's journey exemplifies resilience, determination, and the pursuit of dreams despite challenging circumstances. Beyond the octagon, Nganu has been involved in philanthropic efforts. His life story serves as an inspiration to many, demonstrating that one can rise above adversity and create their own destiny. From the sand mines of Cameroon to the bright lights of the UFC, Francis Nganu's journey is a testament to human resilience and the pursuit of greatness.